This maneuver is simply jumping in place. As you jump, feel the energy come down the back of the pelvis, through the back of the leg, and out the knee. Making sure that you are keeping the hip sockets open, lift your knees up in front of your body, not your heels up in back of your body. Our primary purpose here is to get you breathing hard, but we might as well reinforce helpful body alignment while we do it. One of the best ways I have found to show people how to fully engage the diaphragm in their singing and speech is also one of the simplest. Get so out of breath that the diaphragm has to engage fully. Do this exercise while speaking or singing to really feel the breath support of the diaphragm. It works because, as your muscles need more oxygen to sustain the movement of your body, the diaphragm will drop deeper and deeper on the inhalation, bypassing whatever habits of physical tension you might have that are currently inhibiting the full action of the diaphragm. If you get a stitch in your side, it means the muscles on the ribcage are unable to lengthen and release enough to accommodate the expansion of the diaphragm, so pause and release them, and then try again. Using this exercise equipment is very helpful for the voice. As you stand on the BOSU, you will discover that you cannot continue to hold tension, either physical tension or breath tension, and remain balanced at the same time. To stay balanced, you must release your peripheral muscles and engage your core, so it is quite instructive. This is another great exercise to do while speaking or singing to discover where you are holding tension in the breath. 